Now, I know that he will have a very important message for each one of us. So I want you all to listen very attentively to what he has to say to you. Lieutenant Copeland. Well, if you ever have to go to a war, and unfortunately, someday, you probably will have to fight a war, you'll find out that life becomes very simple because the only thing you're concerned about is living and dying. Everything else is unimportant because suddenly your life is at stake. And that's what it's like to be when you become a prisoner, particularly if it's a prisoner of war. Because the thing that got us through were the things that we learned before we were 10 years old. I'd like to open up the questions now. Just raise your hand or yell it out, and you can ask any question you want about anything, and I'll do the best I can to answer them. How did I feel when the war was over? I felt real good, real good. It was a long war and a very difficult war to understand. But the reason we went there was to win this war. I volunteered to go. I would go again if I had to. And we wanted to win. That was our number one ambition. That was what we really wanted was to win this war. It took us a long time. So when it was finally over, when we knew that we had won, we felt great. We really felt great. What did Vietnam look like? What did Vietnam look like? Well, if it wasn't for the people, it was very pretty. Uh, the people over there are very backward and very primitive, and they just make a mess out of everything. How did you, how did you, um, what do you feel about the people that um, went and burned their draft cards and went into Canada? We don't agree with them. I think these people were legally wrong. I think sometimes they were cowards. If they wanted to leave and go to Canada, that's okay. But they can't come back, though. It was they, they have disagreed. They say, we don't like your country. We don't like you, your people. They're saying that to you and me. You know, I don't like you, so I'm leaving. Well, fine, that's okay. There's no reason to hate a guy for that. Because that's also his right. But he can't come back. 